Anonymous was a, a name used between 2005 and 2008 almost exclusively by participants on the image board 4chan for the sake of internet trolling. And trolling is a name for a diverse set of activities that happen in many different places on the internet and in many different ways, but the essence of trolling is a form of fearsome pranking. And it spans from the quite lighthearted to the quite gruesome. Trolling can be done by one individual, by a small group, a trolling association, or in the case of Anonymous, quite famously, it was crowdsourced, distributed, and anonymous. And 4chan is an anonymous image board, and that is where this kind of commitment and ideal, this commitment and uh, to the ideal of anonymous really became uh, formed and entrenched. And what was fascinating was that over the course of many years, uh, under certain circumstances, the name would be used for trolling because on 4chan there's a lot of uh, activity that has nothing to do with, tro uh, with trolling. But at a certain point, uh, there was a transformation where the name Anonymous was used for trolling, but over the course of that trolling campaign, it became used for activism. And the campaign had to do with the Church of Scientology, which is uh, a fun target for a lot of geeks and hackers. And in specific, a video by Tom Cruise, which was an internal church video. Uh, Tom Cruise is a member, quite famous member, of the Church of Scientology. So this video was leaked uh, onto the internet by Little A Anonymous. And many kind of geeks and hackers were enjoying watching the video and circulating it. And it, it spread like wildfire. And the Church of Scientology, uh, as it's known to do, became very litigious and threatened publishers for with lawsuits if, if they didn't take down the video. And this triggered Anonymous into trolling mode. And they engaged in what I still think of as the mothership example of a trolling raid, insofar as many thousands of people got involved. And what they did was they sent hundreds of pizzas to churches all over the United States. They pranked, called the Dianetics Hotline, which is a Church of Scientology hotline. They faxed um, a lot of black pieces of paper and nude uh, body part images to the church. And we're basically having a pretty grand time uh, engaging in this act of trolling. And then a couple of things happened. Uh, critics of the church reached out to Anonymous and said, you know, what you're doing is quite powerful, quite interesting. Can you do so without the trolling and join our cause? Anonymous also released a video which was done for the sake of trolling, where they declared war against the Church of Scientology. And it was a very well done video, at least from the perspective of rhetoric. It's very compelling. And even though it was meant as a joke, it, it, it was so compelling that, in fact, it helped spark a debate that maybe Anonymous should earnestly protest the church. So between the video, between the ex-critics, or the critics of the Church of Scientology, some of whom were ex-Scientologists, um, Anonymous started to think about protesting the Church of Scientology. And they went ahead and organized the Global Day of Protests on February 8, 2010. And it was wildly successful insofar as there were over 7,000 participants in 127 cities. But what was crucial was really the Australian cities. The biggest protests were in London and Sydney and, and Melbourne. And given that Australia is ahead time-wise, um, those initial protests in Australia, which were quite large, helped get the ball rolling and motivated other geeks and hackers in other cities to go out. And I do wonder you know, if the turnout in Australia had been very low, perhaps it would have also been low in Europe. And so that snowball effect was really important because those street protests really helped to 
cement that transformation from the trolling into activism because once those protests had occurred, anonymous became a name that could be used both for trolling as well as for activism. And in fact, over the years, the name has not been used for trolling, at least in, in terms of a large scale trolling campaign. It is certainly the case that some operations use trollish tactics as part of their repertoire, and that's why they're so controversial, but it's done earnestly for a political activist cause as opposed to just for the fun of trolling.